both RS3 and Slide 3 allow you to easily combine geometry from various sources into a model ready for analysis. The new Import Geometry tool is designed to help you understand the state of the imported geometry and provide feedback about the suitability for model construction and analysis. The function now includes the following improvements. A usage selection screen to guide the initial assignment of geometry. Improved geometry selection and filtering options. And a geometry validation feature to automatically detect problems such as holes, narrow triangles, near degenerate features, self intersections, and non manifold geometry. In this video, we will use slide 3 to import the surface topography of an open pit in order to demonstrate the new geometry validation features. When you select Import Geometry, you are first presented with the Usage Selection panel that will help you with the initial geometry assignment. The intended use of a piece of geometry affects the suitability criteria used to analyze it. If the intended use is unknown, simply use Unassigned. We will select Geology for this demonstration. Note that you can change the purpose of a piece of geometry at various points in the modeling process. The next step in geometry importing is Geometry Selection. This step encourages you to examine the geometry in the files you've imported and select the pieces of geometry for use in a rock science model. We are using only one geometric entity in this example. Select the mesh and then the right arrow button to add the entity to the selected geometry list. For reference, geometry selected for import is displayed opaque, while geometry not selected for import is shown to be transparent. We'll then select Next in order to move on to geometry validation. Here, we'll be able to perform a validation check on the selected geometry by selecting Check at the lower left corner of the dialog. This performs the geometry validation check using all selected criteria. The defects discovered by the validation check will be highlighted on the entity and color-coded according to the defect type. This entity, for example, has geometrical defects in all five categories, as displayed in the legend in the bottom right. If you wish to exclude any deficiency to view, you can select the gear icon in the check button and select only the desired defect types. Commonly, geometric deficiencies are difficult to see, even when highlighted. The Show Clusters option draws larger boxes around clustered deficiencies to indicate the problem areas. Now that we're aware of the deficiencies, we can repair the geometry. The clean version should be rerun in the validation to ensure the problems have been resolved. We now have a functioning model to work with. Thank you for watching our step-by-step -step demonstration on the new import geometry function. For more information on this new feature, or to download a free trial, please click on the links in the description below.